A new State Department of Education report reveals a dire shortage of special education staff. It is forcing some parents in southern Colorado to pay for private tutors just to get basic special needs services for their kids. Cardio 13's Emily Coffey spoke with parents in Woodland Park who are struggling with staffing shortages there. Of 16 job openings here at Woodland Park School District, at least half of them are for special education. It's a huge problem facing Woodland Park parents here who worry that their kids with special needs aren't getting the education they deserve. It breaks my heart because it limits her. Karen Francis has been advocating for her 18-year-old adopted daughter with developmental disabilities for a while. One of her biggest challenges, helping her daughter receive an education. It's wasted years of what could have been a quality education to her capacity. Karen says she's had to pay a tutor for the last two years so that her daughter, Aaliyah, can receive necessary life skills. The problem, she and other parents of kids with special needs say there aren't just enough educators to help out right now. We have some really fantastic special education teachers. They are just so short staffed that a lot of times it's taken till now from January till now to actually really start getting the services that my child needed. Special education staffing shortages is not just a problem in Woodland Park. School districts statewide are facing the most shortages in special education with a major impact in rural areas. That's why parents like Karen say they have to fight hard to make sure their child can get the support they need. We contacted the Woodland Park School District today, trying to understand what they're doing to help mitigate this problem, but they haven't gotten back to us yet. Reporting in Woodland Park, Emily Coffey, Cardio 13.